We here at Jacksmith really strive to put a smile on our customers' faces. But when that is impossible, we'll just put a smile on their weapons. <laughs> I don't even want to know how this is going to turn out. Oh, God. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. He's going to die. What's up, guys? and Welcome back to Jacksmith where we've been profiting off of the kidnapping of a princess for the better part of 20 days now. I don't think I've put that into context before, but it has been nearly a month since anybody's even seen the princess. Considering she's probably been digested into dragon poop, or impregnated by a creepy old rat wizard, or whatever they're doing, you gotta wonder, is she really worth saving anymore? Like, I'm just asking. You know what, if you want to risk your life for some prego poop princess, then that's cool, okay? The customer is always right. <laughs> so what can I get for you to help facilitate this terrible mistake? One battle axe? And you're facing off against a whole lot of fire enemies, huh? I might have the perfect weapon for you, sir. Just a moment. Just let me flip through my little cookbook of weapon recipes. I assume a pro would call them blueprints and not recipes but then again they were transcribed by blind dog so you know what cut me some slack here we go the cinder axe crystallized to make you last even longer ribbed for your pleasure and more importantly plus four fire damage to your whole party which seems kind of overpowered if we're facing off against a majority fire enemy so we'll go ahead and bookmark that uh rufus remember 16 18 25 please Put up your paws or something like that. I don't think you can speak English. Oh, you want one as well? Something tells me I can't make two. And then you want a shield? Uh, we'll get started on one and hope for the best. I usually don't have enough crystal for multiples, but we can try. <laughs> so we got a lot of fire and we also have a new enemy. Not 100% sure what it is. Like, usually they're pretty obvious, right? Fire, water, ice. There's only so many things a snowflake can represent, but a uh, little dizzy circle, not 100% sure. Hopefully a legendary battle axe to the neck will be just as effective against it as anything else, especially if it's made of very straight crystal because I'm gonna assemble this flawlessly, aren't I? Hold on, eh, maybe good. It's so hard to tell with these freaking axes. That looks a little off. Maybe they can be forgiving. Wait, who's they? Who's judging me? It's not them, right? It's probably me or Rufus. So hopefully one of us. Uh, Rufus, what was that number again? Uh, I'm going to assume it was 16. Oh, crap. It was 16 because I said that this axe is ribbed for his pleasure. It's a good thing that I make descriptive jokes. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, 16 and then 18, if I remember correctly. And perfect. And then 25, maybe? Yep, this one. Okay, so this should be a pretty good weapon if I can nail this. Flawless, right? Epic weapon. Flawlessly crafted, super effective against the majority of the stuff we're facing off against. That has to be good. Yes! <laughs> Finally, I did a good thing. <laughs> Waiting for that for a long time. What else can we get you guys? Another shield, okay. You want a long sword, which will be good against fire enemies. And a pike. Okay, you little motley crew. Just hang out here for a second. I'm gonna get started on that sword because again, that should be really good against fire. 12 fire damage already, and then I might be able to make it even better. Make this out of gold. Still not sure how gold works. You would think it would come out like a pool noodle. You would hit somebody with it, and it would not even shatter. It would bend. It's like hitting somebody with a pipe cleaner. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just the blacksmith, okay? I don't ask questions. I make the weapons. I don't question how to use them. Just gonna pour this fast. Carefully now. I think I figured out a little trick for sharpening this. I can start down there and get the two ends and then work my way up ever so carefully. And that should save me a swing. In all reality, I should get a bonus for having extra swings, right? Look, look at that. One more swing left. I know you guys can't see it. It's behind my head, but I still got one more and I don't even need it. I guess I'll put it like there. Perfectly sharpened. That has to be good. Now, what else can I give you? Ooh, I might have been able to make a legendary sword. Ah, crap, why did I? 
Oh, why didn't I do that? All right, we'll, we'll give you this because it looks really fancy. It'll give you a bunch of extra health and we'll need to stick around. Perfect. Some of them are so symmetrical, especially near the middle, that it's really easy to line up. And then other ones are just near impossible. All of these bookmarked, which means I need them all for legendary weapons. So you can have just one of the basic ones. It's black. It's fashionable. It's awesome. It's, it's awesome. Don't worry about it. And something like you. Eh. Good. Yeah, that looks okay. That's 12 fire damage. Take that out of the door and shove that up somebody with that 99% handle. I'm not gonna cry tonight. Once again, I feel like I may have overprepared my team because it turns out every weapon that we're crafting is super effective against fire. <laughs> Especially the shields is the one thing that they are effective against. Except I can't get this damn logo centered. Like, that looks centered to me, but it's apparently not, right, 94? Is that what it said? I, I can't see because I'm getting rewarded for making, that looks also centered, more or less, but I think it was great. Which was just even close to perfect, yet 99. How could I make it any more centered? It's just the logos are all different, I don't know. Either way, we should be good. Hey, I got 100% hammering on that one, which is even more gold and a little uh, bonus gems, technically. Wait a minute. Am I even profiting from this? I'm having an epiphany here. I just realized that we're not actually getting paid for these weapons. Crap, I'm also not picking stuff up, right? Because every time I make money by getting these guys to <laughs> kill these poor little fire enemies, then I'm putting all of that money back into the weapons. So I'm not actually making off with any profit or very little. So am I in this to save the princess? I don't know what my motivations are. Well, as expected, these fire enemies did not last long, and now we have to face Breeze Bomb? What's a Breeze Bomb? It's just an angry old chicken that throws frisbees? <laughs> I didn't even get to see what it does because we killed it like, instantly. I keep missing stuff because, like, I, I know it seems really big for you guys, but for me, it's a little tiny window and stuff is underneath my logos. I just can't see everything. I can't believe everybody survived. I really overprepared you guys this time around. <laughs> I can't complain though. You know, I'm more than happy to just win. You're welcome. Way to go, Rufus. Yeah, it was all your designs. I'm sure I'll give you some level of credit. Come on, that gotta level me up, right? Really? New weapon, the round shield. Okay, this should be easier to center. I, I say should because Rufus is a very strict judge, but at the same time, you know, I feel like I can put a logo in the center of a circle. Hopefully. What do you got for me, Rufus? Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So a whole bunch more of the new swirly enemies, and we don't have a weapon that's effective against them. Or do we? Oh, I'm willing to bet that the round shield is effective against the swirly enemies. Of course it is. So we'll go ahead and make a bunch of crystal round shields and hope that the best offense is a good defense. I don't know how I feel about calling a bunch of sheep with shields the best offense, okay? Like, when well, you need to question whether or not to call your party a flock or a phalanx, this is probably gonna be trouble. I guess all I can really do is hope for the best, right? I'll make the best possible round shield that I can using the best possible paints and logos, which I don't have. Crap. Well, there are two fire enemies, so how about we give it a little bit of fire paint and just hope that its natural born ability to beat the swirlies will work? That's a real ugly shield, but oh, we got this. That should make this very effective. This is actually a little bit more difficult to center because I don't have an axis to lay it on. Uh, oh God, I feel like I need to take out the protractor and really measure things up here. Uh, nailed it, nailed it. The perfect shield, you're welcome. Put that to good use now because I'm not gonna be making too many of those. <laughs> I can get you another mace, shield, and three maces. Are the maces effective against the swirlies? No, they're effective against water and a pain in my arse to make. We here at Jacksmith really strive to put a smile on our customers' faces, but when that is impossible, we'll just put a smile on their weapons. <laughs> I 
don't even want to know how this is going to turn out. Oh, God. I shouldn't laugh. He's going to die. As expected, it's a true abomination, but it might be a well-made abomination? No, 46%. <laughs> it didn't even give a little doo-doo-doo. It was just like, yeah, here you go. See you later. Can't wait to see him wield that thing. We also have a couple more shields, but no good paint to use, so... We'll just spray these down with the old base coat real quick. I got like crystal and gold shields going into battle. I'm sure they'll be fine right here. I'll make it even real lucky for you. This has to be centered, right? Perfect. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> Flawless gold shield. Super effective against the majority of what you're facing off against. Just look out for the guy with the happy mace, would you? I'd really appreciate it. I'll even give you some of this, right? We'll give you a purple one as well. I'll waste all my damn paint on you idiots. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I'm good. <laughs> Just barely. Uh, I got two hearts, so you can have one. It's a very romantic looking shield. Perfect. Yes, you see? Round shields. Love them. So much easier to center. Are you proud of me, Rufus? <laughs> We're going to battle with the Happy Mace, and I apparently got a time bonus. Screwing around still seems to be beneficial for me. Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is! You can do it! I believe in you! He's gonna be the first to die, isn't he? I'm gonna keep him alive. You know, I'm gonna do everything in my power to keep him away from the Wind Weaver. They're wind enemies! Oh, that makes some level of sense now that I think about it. Yeah, you can't really describe wind with a small little logo other than a swirly, I suppose. I mean, that still doesn't really explain the whole concept of a wind spider or an angry wind sheep, but at the same time, we are flying through these guys. <laughs> like a fart in the wind, they cannot contain us. Come on, guys, you can do it. I don't even need to use my abilities. I, I held off there, you guys just destroyed them. Uh, he should be easy to take care of, right? You don't need any help from uh, me, maybe. Maybe you do need a little help, you guys are starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> Come on. The strongest ones are near the end. Take him down, take him down, take him down. I don't want Happy Mace to leave. I want that masterpiece back. I'm gonna pin that up over Rufus's dog house. That's a big chicken. That's a real big ch- Oh God, they're fleeing. Okay, take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down. Come on, you and then die. <laughs> Never doubted you guys. Knew you always had it. Way to go, the princess will be proud or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me, to be perfectly honest. Kill all enemies on a trail on 20 different trails. That's pretty good considering we're on, what, like day 23 or something like that? Can I please level up for the love of God? Yeah, I'm now the arms painter. Not those kind of arms. Beware Teslator. Okay, we've had the ability to upgrade weapons for electric damage for a while now, but we've never seen electric enemies. So if that's what's coming now, I probably have a whole lot of upgrades waiting for them. Come on, Rufus, give me the good news. We got some dizzies, we got a lot of dizzies, and a little electric? Equal part dizzy to electric, great. Okay, and then let me guess, we're gonna have a sheep. Okay, so you'll be useful against at least half of the guys that we're facing off against. Do I have any legendary weapons that'll come in handy? We just unlocked, what, the Scorcher? That's pretty good. Against fire enemies, it won't be any good right now. Uh, Shield-wise, we got the Peace Bringer. We got the Spade Defense, no round shields. But what I was thinking was swords. We have the Electress, plus seven for all of the party, and it's a crystal sword. Okay, can somebody get me a pig right now, please? I never thought I would be so happy to see Ballsack Pig. After making half a dozen useless weapons today, we finally have the ability to make something special. All my other customers have come and gone, so I can focus 100% on sharpening up this crystal legendary sword. I don't know if they're supposed to be legendary or epic, but I think I've screwed it up already. Oh dear, uh, no, that's pretty good. I think that was all right. Now, how did it look exactly? It's gotta be this one, right? I, I wrote it down, 23, 19, 36. 23, uh, uh, good, 23, 19, that doesn't look right. But I got written down, so I guess it's right, 23, uh, 19, ah, 36, uh, all right, hey, we got there, that should be really useful. 
<laughs> like, just to be clear, this is 10 electric damage, but it's seven for everybody else on the team, and there's, what, like six of them? That's a lot of freaking damage. <laughs> you better survive, ball sack pig. We need your aura buff. They need your aura buff. I'll be in the tank rolling around behind you guys. Knock the crap out of this little wind spider so that we can see what these electric enemies are all about, because I am not even 100% sure how to pronounce that. I think it's Tesla Soar? Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so they're a lot bigger than I expected. You could totally get in their stomach if you wanted to for whatever reason. I don't know why you would, but oh crap, heal, heal, heal. Mmm, yeah, not going as well as I had hoped. We're actually taking a lot of damage. Like, they keep ramping up the number of enemies that we face off against as well as the number of allies we have. So maybe I should be making multiple legendary weapons each run? I probably could. I I'm pretty sure I could. I, I don't need to give them a, a whole bunch of useless garbage. Oh, ow, that hurts. Oof, yeah, mm-hmm. Come on now, knock them, knock them. If they only get one attack off, then we might be fine. We might be okay as long as the wind birds don't knock the wind out of our sails. Good, good. There's only one left. It's probably the big boss. Yeah, the big er boss. <laughs> I can't heal you guys anymore. It's either gonna be you or him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I got a fireball coming. I got a fireball coming, yes. I can't believe I haven't died in such a long time because I'm making such mediocre weapons for them. I, I think every weapon that I didn't show you guys was just vanilla. There's was just nothing special to it. It was just a, a base shaft, base everything. I just send them out there with the aura and they do work for me and almost level me up again. Almost isn't good enough, damn it. New weapon, the Falcon. Also, I know I'm probably not pronouncing half of this stuff correctly, but I'm selling them to pigs, okay? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> if they're not gonna take it too seriously, we don't need to either. Isn't that right, Rufus? Hopefully, whatever we're gonna face off against being a bunch of freak plants and, uh, water? Whole lot of water. We already have a water sword, don't we? That's what the Gladius is for. All right, well, at least we get to make one. Let's see here. So, it's good against electricity. All right, that's fine. I'm still not gonna make one because this is gonna be a whole lot more effective. <gasps> one crystal gladius coming right up. Let me see if I unlocked. Ooh. Ooh, I wanna make the sea sword. That sounds dope. I unlocked a shield though. We got the mariner, which I can also make, which is also dope. Two legendary weapons. I was just saying I need more of them. This is gonna be plus 15 against everything, for everything. This is gonna be overpowered as hell. I feel like with this much type advantage, I could have everybody else's weapons made out of Fabergé and crackers and newborn babies, and it would still be a cakewalk. So we need to get 19. Yeah, that definitely stands out for being a bit of a sea sword. Good. Uh. 47, digging deep for this one, 47, uh, okay, that's fine, it doesn't need to be flawless, still gonna be easy, and 24, all right, well, it's not perfect, but it'll have to do, it will do, let's be perfectly honest, <laughs> okay, and then uh, this one's good to go, random piece of crap, here you go, enjoy that, I make them hastily because I want my extra bonus, and you guys have seen this a million times before, so I don't really need to show it to you again. Ooh. We unlocked a new level for the Peg Mace. It now has advantage against moon units. Again, stuff we haven't seen before. For this one, we need, what, 9 and 11, I would imagine? 9. Okay. Ooh, so pretty. And I just save the extra paint for another shield? That'd be so much more effective. And 11. Something like that. Perfect. <laughs> Ship it. Plus 15 has to be good enough, right? I should be able to sit back and just watch them crucify everybody out there. <laughs> and I get my bonus. Can't really complain about a good tip, right? Now, please survive. Please don't make me into a liar. I got a whole bunch of water plants. You guys should be able to just murder them. You're always going to take one attack. That's the thing. Like, they're always going to get one hit off. And they rarely get two off. No matter how bad you are. <laughs> so it doesn't seem to really matter how you equip them. Like, it feels like the game is easy. Maybe I'm just good at it. Can you guys tell me if I'm good at this game or if it's easy? Because I honestly don't know. 
<laughs> There's a good chance that I'm not good at it. I, I'm not good at most games, to be perfectly honest. I'm here to be entertaining, not professional. Murder, 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 and then heal. Good. How are we doing? We're doing fine, right? You could die real quick. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even get a single attack off. See, these water enemies aren't doing anything. <laughs> I take it back. So if you do type advantage them strong enough, then they just won't damage you at all. A uh, swirl fly, okay. Yeah, kill the air bee. Aren't most bees air bees? Isn't that what a bee kind of is all about? <laughs> and we got the basic slug. All right, that's real intimidating, I suppose. Yep, he's dead. We got a whole bunch of minerals and weapon parts out of him. And then your electric. Which shouldn't be, oh, oh, too bad. Yeah, you scared someone off. Don't appreciate that. The mermace. So what, you're, you're, mm. Yep, you're a big boy and you're water type. So hopefully we kill you quickly and get the final reward. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. I am amazed that my legendary sword guy ran off there. That was actually very close. One or two more hits and we would have been out of it. Crap. Rufus, I gotta stop being so confident. I'm gonna get more people killed than I should. Probably get quite a few people killed already. Yeah, Master Swordsman. Finally a title I can get behind. New Cannonball, the Electric Bomb. You see, the cannonballs seem way more useful than a new weapon. Because upgrading a weapon is fine, but we can only have so many weapons. Like, there's only so many farm animal hands to go around. But having that one extra attack every time to hopefully kill that enemy before they hit us seems way better. What do we got, Rufus? Uh, electricity, water, these things definitely don't mix. We got some wind. I'm assuming the skull is just, like, a vanilla enemy. No specific type, you just kill him with whatever, and we got ourselves a ball sack pig who wants a sword, which is good because I've been looking for an excuse to make the new sword. Even though I might want a Gladius instead. Three water enemies versus... No, you know what? I, I just want to give it a try. We'll make it out of crystal, we'll do our best, and then maybe we'll have another pig show up eventually. We got a bow, do we have a new unique weapon? Yeah, we got ourselves a pike for once. The chain jabber. And coincidentally, I have all the pieces for it, so I guess we'll be making that too. Hopefully a cow comes along. Not only are they making these things significantly more difficult for me to sharpen, but they're reducing my swings. Normally I have 18, now I have 10. Again, I know it's behind my head, but the point is, I don't really know how I'm supposed to go about doing this. It has to be that this is a double, right? I'm sharpening both ends this way, and then... I gotta, like, spread it out up here? That was really bad. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I mean, I guess I might as well still make it good, right? Just do my best. Toss you on there, perfect. Okay, you got anything else interesting? We don't need ice. We don't need stone. How about a little luck? How about something like this? This doesn't go to a legendary weapon. Eh? I am just blowing it right now. Here, take a nub and be gone. <laughs> It looks fine, right? It's still 12 electric damage. It, it should be fine. Oh god, 67 hammering. I've never blown it quite like that. <laughs> okay, well, we got ourselves a sheep. Come on, give me a cow. We got uh, another pig. Come on, cow. Oh, really? Where's your cow, friend? Do you guys got anybody? No, zero more coming. Damn it. Even if I can't make my legendary Moo Moo Spike, I still got something special brewing up, okay? Hold on, this should be worth our while, hopefully. It's made of iron, so I'm not so sure it's gonna survive until the end, but I think it's magical. We'll see now if I can actually get this straightened out. Oh god, that's bad. Uh, hold on, a little something like this. There we go, and it needs, um... 32, maybe? I scribbled it down. Yeah, we'll go with 32, why not? 32, 24, 8, does that make sense? <laughs> 24, okay. I really should write these things down legibly, especially considering somebody's gonna trust their life in it, and 8. 8? Eight? 8, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm the blacksmith around here, don't question me. Uh -huh. 
Perfect. And this is the Magician's Bow, which gives everybody five health. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah, okay. And I got 10 epic weapons crafted. So you go ahead, take that along with you. Give me my tip for the day and try not to die. Click four to drop a lightning bomb on enemies, which lowers their attack strength. Ooh, okay, well, first of all, we'll heal you guys because I'm barely paying attention here. Too busy reading and we'll drop that. I'm gonna assume that lowered his attack. <laughs> Just bomb the crap out of that random water bird in overalls. I should have saved it. <laughs> attack 20 wind enemies with wind boosted weapons. They have some of the strangest bonuses. <laughs> Stuff that I would never think to try to do. Yeah, how do you like that? So I'm guessing the fire one does damage over time. I didn't read that, but we've seen people burn. The healing one just repairs their weapons. That's all as far as I can tell. And then I guess the basic one is just blunt force damage. Is that all uh, add up? Okay, well, we got people running. Not exactly what I was hoping for, guys. Come on, kill, kill. There we go, he burned out. <laughs> just barely, and you can lower your attack. It probably does electric damage too, right? So it should do extra damage against electric enemies because we found that the fire one does more damage against fire enemies than it does anything else. I'm missing freaking things while I'm talking. Come on now, get healed up, guys. We might be in trouble. I made a whole lot of crap weapons this time around, a whole lot of vanilla stuff that I'm not all too proud of. One more, we're gonna lower his attack. You guys were telling me that I can attack them off screen, which saves me a little bit of time for recharging. That hurts. Yep, that, that definitely hurts. Fire, fire, heal, die. <laughs> no, oh, 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 that was close. <laughs> Just by the hair on our chinny chin chin. There we go. And you know what? Uh, electric bomb for victory celebration. I gotta tip my strange little metal helmet to Rufus because he's doing a great job juggling all of those different weapon types up there. I don't know how I'd be able to do it without him, right? He's the one that operates the tank. I'm the one that operates the workshop. It just so happens that it's all one vehicle. New weapon, the Trident. Okay, I've never wanted to see a cow wield a Trident until now. Now my life will never be the same. Rufus, please tell me there's a herd of cows around here somewhere that want to throw down. You're spotting a lot of enemies, wind, water, skulls, so on and so forth. Okay, so here's hoping the trident is good against, it's gotta be good against water, right? It wouldn't make any sense otherwise. Yeah, good against water. Well then, oh, we got, we got some water, so that that's a reason to use it. Yeah, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna make myself a crystal trident. No one's the boss of me, okay? I'll make whatever I want. I wonder if pouring just a little bit of molten crystal at a time would mess things up. I've never tried this before, probably because it's stupid. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be screwing around in all reality. This is my very first trident. I need to make a name for myself. I got nine swings to sharpen this entire thing. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine? <laughs> I missed so much of it. How the hell is that supposed to work? Oh no, and I don't even have any good stabs or anything like that. Oh no, we can get this one. We can give you even more health. You're gonna be the beefiest warrior. Again, sorry, not an intended pun, but it's your own damn fault for being a cow. Let's see here, anything else? No, nothing's changed since I checked a few seconds ago. Surprise, surprise, eh, good. And you don't need fire. I don't wanna waste anything we're not gonna use. I have so many things now because I use so few of them. I'm always using the default whenever I get the chance. Ugh, that could have been better, but you know what? Maybe they won't notice, maybe it's fine. Give me a hundred. It's almost perfect, which means it's perfect, right? Oh, no, well, the handle was, <laughs> but the hammer, not so much. Did we unlock? Yeah, we did unlock a new legendary. We got the Wind Slayer, which would come in real handy considering we're facing off against a lot of wind enemies. So let's get a pig in here, okay? You want a shield, uh-huh, and you want a shield. Okay, place your order, move to the right, thank you very, and you want a shield. Okay, I don't need a whole flock. You don't want to so come on, give me a, thank you, ball sack pig. Always ball sack pig to the rescue. 
Praise be to ball. Can I say ball sack pig enough times in one video? I'm a big fan of how quickly you can belt out these shields, right? It's just a quick little painting. Make yourself a real ugly product. <laughs> Slap a star on it and you got Captain America during Pride Month. There you go. Have a good day. Thank you very much. I like your little sheepy mustache, by the way. <laughs> Moving on to another one. This time around, you can be uh, water. Yeah, we, we got a whole bunch of water enemies coming up. So we'll just give this a coat of paint because everybody knows that the different color shield does more damage when you hit people with it. And we'll toss on uh, water. Yeah, there we go. Boom. If Popeye was Captain America, you're off to the races. Enjoy. <laughs> Tell the other one that I really liked his mustache. And then we got this one over here. You could just be regular. That should be fine. Oh, that came out a little patchy. I might need to get Rufus to clear my paintbrushes or spray can, whatever I'm using. Uh, and this one will be quite a bit more vanilla. Probably something like that. Man, these round ones are great. I'm getting them every time. <laughs> Thoroughly appreciated. Now, we got that legendary to make. Sharpening this just sucks, right? I gotta like, something like this maybe? Take my time with it, spread things out. Five left. So, one, two, three, four, five? That didn't look too bad, right? 22, 26, 34. So we got 22. Good. Uh, 26, which would be you, like, uh, no, 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 it's gotta be perfect, it's got to be great, great, and 34, uh, are there hundreds of pieces in this game? I gotta wonder. It's epic, whatever, it makes them all strong against wind, there's four wind enemies, that should be fine. You guys are good, oh my god, the hammering, I don't get it, I'm missing something, I have to be. <laughs> this just seems like there's no way to sharpen that with 10 swings. God, it's gonna drive me insane, but they seem really over-equipped and <laughs> not matching in the slightest. There is so much pink and gold and colors and... Y you know what? We're not here to hit them with our fashion. We're here to hit them with our weapons. Die, 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 and then heal? Yeah, I should be using the heal a whole lot more frequently, and then... I'll just shoot that guy right now. I don't even know what's coming, but he's already electrocuted. Yeah, there we go. Screw him. <laughs> I've already got a quarter of a recharge. I don't even need to wait to get hit. Shoot it. Hit him. Yeah, you, you guys, that was a great, great hint from you guys in the comments last time. I'm definitely going to do that a whole lot more often. There's so many enemies. There's like a dozen of them. Luckily for us, we do seem to be flying through them. Like, I'm pretty sure we only have wind enemies left and we're best equipped to fight them. So hopefully that aura will come in handy. I should have saved that for the last one because I think this is the last boss of the trail. What am I doing? It's gonna be some kind of gross giant chicken thing, isn't it? Yep, there it would be. <laughs> kill it, please kill it with fire. Oh God, people are running away, but we're fine. We're fine, right? The shields knew what's up. You guys will get me all my gold and all my paint and my legendary weapons. And we're moving on. The forest trail has been unlocked. <laughs> Hopefully with a level up, come on. Come on, there we go. That's right, I'm the pole arm pro. But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Jacksmith, guys. And as far as I can tell, there's probably two more worlds left, considering now we're seeing forest enemies, so grass types. And then I'm guessing the dark enemies will be the final level. Maybe, I have no idea. Apparently the game is super long, but people really enjoy it because somehow this became one of my most popular series recently. So as always, if you guys wanna see more, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and your support is why I keep coming back. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.